Welcome to Talk the Walk. I'm Sarah Wong. We know that renowned Chinese director Zhang Yimou put on a breathtaking display of light shows, no fakes, and Chinese pride for the opening ceremony of the Beijing Winter Olympics. Zhang also heralded the Lunar New Year with his first movie that depicted the battleground of the Korean War. There's a heavy presence of foreign actors in the film to portray the American army. And today we'll be talking to one of them. British actor Agent Donnelly joins us now from Beijing, China. He's also a voice artist and a cultural entrepreneur. AJ, thank you for being on Talk the Walk. Did I get your name correctly? <laughs> AJ Donnelly, it's quite simple. That's why it's just two letters so that no one can ever forget it. Oh, um, <laughs> lucky, lucky. So first, I believe congratulations are in order as the movie Snipers is doing quite well at the Spring Festival box office. Um, you've said that you were handpicked by director Zhang and his daughter Zhang Mo um, to portray American Army Captain Williams in the film. Can you tell us what made them, uh, in your opinion, of course, what made them believe that you were in a match? That's a, a, a wonderful question that I've been asking myself every day since I got cast in it uh, over a year ago now. Um, I mean, you know, we have to be honest with the fact a big part of it was the fact that the borders are still very closed. So, you know, part of it is the fact they couldn't get stars from outside of China. Um, into film here. So that was one part of what gave us all of the foreign team the opportunity to work on this movie. Um, but apart from that, I don't know. I mean, how do you ever know really <laughs> why a director casts you for something? I mean, I don't, you know, I have a certain shaped head and a certain face. Um, so it's, it's very difficult for me to get cast in roles like this in general. So I don't know. I think it's just on the day, you know, we came across as, you know, he, I think he wanted, you know, based on both myself and, and the rest of the, the foreign team that he cast, I think he wanted a variety of different looks and different styles and different attitudes from the actors that he chose. And I just happened to fit one of those types, I guess. You're from Bedford, England, and as we know right now, that you have a very strong and very, um, very orthodox British accent. This film <laughs> depicts confrontation between Chinese and American soldiers during the Korean War. Why do you think that wasn't a factor taken into the consideration? Oh, I mean, it definitely was. Um, on the second audition with um, Zhang Mo, the, the, the first question she said to me was, you know, can you do an American accent? Because that was definitely a factor in the people that she chose. You know, we had to be able to come across as genuine. And luckily, all of the soldiers from that platoon that were involved, um, the, that battalion that were involved, they were all from the South, uh, the Southern states. So the, the South, the Southern American accent is, you know, it's a bit stereotypical and not too difficult to emulate. So it's one of the voices that I can do. I mean, as a voice actor, being able to do accents is, you know, part of my job. So it was just lucky that I was able to do that particular accent. Now, can you tell us more about your role in the movie and what did you need to do to bring that character to life? Um, I had to be very, very angry all of the time. <laughs> um, I mean, that's something that's kind of a trademark for me now, is that all of my characters that I play in different TV shows and different movies. Is it trademark for you or a trademark for foreign, you know, foreign characters in Chinese For me, for me. Production. I think every okay. character I've ever played is always very, very angry. And Captain Williams, he's always angry about the situation and about the soldiers that he's dealing with and the sniper team that he's trying to coordinate. So, you know, being angry is, I guess I have an angry looking face, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, he, he's not a happy man. He's not happy with the situation with his shot soldiers. He's obviously not happy with the situation in the war, how things are going on the battlefield. So I had to be angry 24 seven when I was there. So what do you have to do to bring that kind of high degree and intense angriness 
um, theory to life? I mean, it wasn't actually very difficult when I was there because we started filming every day at around 5 a.m. because um, up in Baishan during the winter, very, very short days. So we oh, had yeah. to start filming at five every morning. Um, and, you know, when we go out there, it's about minus 20 up in the mountains. And, you know, we've got very small tents and we're not wearing very many clothes and so many things going on. And you know, it gets very, very tense on set. So you just have to think about the situation, you know. So not just for you as an actor, but, you know, the character. Where is he? Mm. What's he experiencing? What's he thinking about right now? You know, that's the job of the actor, you know, to, to, to bring reality to an unreal situation. So the unreal situation is you're an actor, you're just on set. But the actual situation that your character is in obviously is in the middle of a war. You're not getting what you want. You have to understand first, you know, when you're preparing for a role like this, you have to say, you know, why is he feeling this way? You know, what's his reaction going to be? Why is he going to, how is he going to interact with the people around him? And for my character, everyone is just making me angry all the time. You know, and you just absorb that. You react to whoever else is around you. So, you know, even if, as, as often happens when we make movies, you know, maybe people sometimes don't give you the reaction that you need as, as a character, but then you use that. You get angry at the situation and then you just channel that into your character. So, yeah, I mean, for this movie especially, it was, it was quite easy to be angry all the time. Well, talking about the character in the situation of the characters, well, full confession, I haven't got the chance to uh, watch the movie yet. I will when I get the chance. But in my experience, historically, China's history and war movies and TV series always end with a Chinese victory, where the Chinese soldiers are heroes. In other words, the foreign characters, foreign soldiers are always defeated. It is also so black and white in this film, or is there a different story with more nuances here? I think that's a very, very important factor for this movie specifically. You know, we weren't privileged to the whole script when we were filming. You know, all the, the, the actors, we only got our scenes because Zhang Yimou was very, very certain about, you know, keeping this whole thing confidential and having no leaks of, of any night. So we didn't know what everyone else was doing and what was going on. So it was only when we went to see the premiere a few weeks ago that we got the full idea of oh, what was going on. So you don't know um, what the story's about beforehand. I mean, we, we get the general idea, you know, with the background of, you know, where we are and what we're doing, but we didn't know what story was going to be portrayed, who the characters were going to be. You know, what the end, we, none of us knew what the ending was mm. until we actually saw it uh, at the premiere. So I, I, was, I was surprised, to be honest. Um, I mean, obviously, Zhang Yimou is, is very well known for making deeper movies, you know, that, that tell more of a story rather than just being, you know, big action scenes. Mm. And that's not what this movie was. This movie, number one, it had a story to tell. And number two, that story wasn't black and white. You know, it wasn't the good guys versus the bad guys. And all throughout the movie, you, it's made very, very clear by how the, the foreign side are portrayed that these aren't evil guys you know they weren't there it isn't shown in the movie that they were there to do bad things to do to be bad people you know it, what was shown was two sides who were fighting for what they thought was the right thing to do you know so i don't think the movie shows any evil characters or evil intentions now, of course, the movie ends in a certain way, but I don't, and, and it portrays heroes, but I don't think it's done at the expense of either side. And I think that's very, very important, you know? This is not the good guys versus the bad guys. This is two sides who believe what they're doing is right and, and the story that unfolds between them. Interesting. So historically, a lot of 
sniper movies or movies related to snipers were made both in the West and in the East. What do you think, if, if you have to choose like one thing, what do you think that is that make this film Snipers by Zhang Yimou's unique? It's not an action movie. I mean, you know, there, there are a very few number of explosions, but it's, it's not about special effects. It's not about, you know, large set pieces and, and, and things blowing up all over the place. I mean, it has that as well, but it's about, it's a character driven movie, you know? It was a very, very small team of actors, maybe, you know, 10 Chinese actors on one side, probably less than 10 foreign actors on the other side. And it's an hour and a half long. So it's all about the development on the battlefield between these different characters and the conversations that they have mm. and the feelings that they share about being in this situation. It, it's about the stories that are told between those characters. For me as an actor, that, that's really something different. Well, let's hear more about that after the break. Total Wap will be back in a moment. Stay with us.